My name is Mike Hamasaki, Chief Probation Officer, and this is the Stanislaus County Probation Department. The overall mission of the Stanislaus County Probation Department is to provide rehabilitative services to the offenders that we serve, both the youth in custody, the youth out of custody, and the adults that we supervise in the community. Many of our officers are armed. Obviously, training is a huge part of that. My name is Tracy Martin. My goal as lead range instructor for Stanislaus County Probation is to train our officers to the highest ability that we can. We do scenario-based training, force-on-force -force training. We do shoot-don't-shoot shoot targets, moving targets. We provide mutual aid, so it's important that we are trained to the same ability as our counterparts at the Sheriff's Department or the Police Department. A lot of our offenders have extensive criminal history. It's important for us to be able to keep us, our coworkers, and the community safe from any danger that they may present. As offenders go through the court system, many times they're placed on probation, and that's where our supervision officers play a key role. Supervision officers meet with the offenders, they do risk and needs assessments with the offenders, and as a result, that determines where that offender will be supervised. Part of the mission of the probation department is to provide timely information to the court so the judge can make determinations on consequence for criminal activity. My name is Denise Locke. I'm a supervising probation officer with the Stanislaw County Probation Department. There are 10 courtrooms in addition to five specialty courts in which our officers appear. Anything that the court requests, our officers provide so the court can have as much information available to them at the time of sentencing. We sit in the middle between the DA and the defense attorney and because our role is really just to be an objective provider of information, we can make recommendations to assist offenders in their road to recovery or rehabilitation based on our rapport with the various attorneys and with the judges and them trusting our discretion in those matters. Part of supervision at times can be intrusive supervision, but we have a job to do in terms of ensuring that these offenders are abiding by their terms and conditions of probation. My name is Amber Myers. I currently am supervising the Domestic Violence Unit. We had been out to this location previously, and so today we wanted to um, come out and uh, make sure that he was not in possession of any weapons or any drugs. We always have to be extra cautious when we're approaching homes. After we clear the residence, today we ran our dog, Java. Java is trained in narcotics detection, also in firearms and ammunition detection. He will do a check of the room before we search it to show us any areas that we think we need to focus on. We're out in the field a lot. We get to work with a lot of other canine officers in the county. I really like my position. What makes me excited about the future of the probation department, it's really moving toward looking at offenders in a much different light. The rehabilitative side is where we're really trying to go. My name is Steve Jackson. I'm the institution superintendent. Today we're standing out front of our juvenile commitment facility. We have a max population of 60 youth. Our main focus is to prepare these kids for their return into the community. We have full uh, volleyball, basketball, soccer program. We offer a culinary program that allows the youth to not only work in the kitchen, but learn the cooking skills necessary so that they can be employed upon their release. The Stanislaus County Office of Education runs our school services, so our youth experience the same services that they would in the community. Our program offers them a safe, nurturing, but accountable environment with plenty of opportunities to grow and learn and experience change. Our officers are educators, mentors, counselors, and so they're really invested in the growth of our youth here. At the Adult Day Reporting Center, offenders have a one-stop shop where they can go through the classes that will hopefully make them productive citizens in the community. 
My name is Miko Lockernini. I'm a deputy probation officer assigned to the Stanislaus County Day Reporting Center. When a defendant is released from custody, they come out to be assessed by one of our assessment officers to determine their criminogenic needs in putting them into programming here at the DRC. We offer several classes such as domestic violence or anger management for drug treatment, our intensive outpatient therapy program. We teach cognitive behavioral therapy. Those programs are designed to slow down the offender's thought process so that they're able to make better choices. We have a new program out here called LCA and that is a job readiness program for our offenders. You can get somebody a job very quickly and very easily. It's another thing for somebody to actually obtain a career. That creates possibilities for them. Last month we had seven individuals gain full-time employment. It is rewarding when you can see someone get back to a place of normalcy for them. I find my job very fulfilling. The great men and women of the Stanislaus County Probation Department have done a wonderful job in terms of taking that challenge on and working with our offenders in different ways. The people who work here are fantastic. The training that we are offered and get to partake in is excellent. It's given me an opportunity to work with amazing people. I've had met my very best friends here. For me, this position as a probation officer is very fulfilling, um, especially working with the mental health clients. Everybody here actually cares about what they're doing. They care about the individual and they want to see success. The probation department is a wonderful career to choose if you want to make a difference in the community.